in this example, okay, um, I will take this example first. So if you study in uh, in plan in 2D. So for 2D, I will choose uh, this template for 2D frame design. Okay, so here we have a column. The length L here, in this example, L is 8.5 meter. Okay, so we draw a bar. Uh, we have to here pay attention that uh, the unit is meter, okay. not in foot. So I will draw uh, using uh, whatever the section we have here. So from zero to 8.5. Okay. So we start from from point h equal zero z zero to h zero and then z 8.5. Okay. We add, I get this column and then. Uh, we add the support, so we add pin at base, and then uh, ruler at, at top. So I'll see this one. Ruler at top is we have a fixed direction OH only. Yeah. OH, so it means displacement in X direction is fixed. OZ, okay. we do not fix, air rotation do not fix. Okay, so here we fix only OH. Okay. And then you have uh, the load go here, three kilo newton. Here, maybe add another case so that uh, the load one here include a silver, but here we don't have silver. Here they load two. And then in a direction three. 3 kilo newton per meter in each direction and then we have this one 3 That's 3 kilo newton and then we will add another case for 500, 1000 and 2000 uh, we add different name of, of the load see different case so from here Alright, and then the load number three, point load here, um, 500. So minor 500, it, it is a downward load, up, down, and so we have here 500. Okay. And then another load, 1000. Here, so 1000. Another load, the load 5, 2000. And then I, I create a case for combine between 500 and then 3 kN, 1000 and 3, 2000 and 3. Okay, so I have three, 3 load combination. Find a manual load combination. Okay, and then uh, combo number one is uh, number the load number two and then number three. So fat load factor is one. I'll just add the load low safety factor. So the combo I just create we have five hundred and then three kilo newton. Okay. And we create a new one. Combo number two that is Load number two and then number four. Okay, that one is combo, combo number two. One thousand and then three. And then combo number three. So we have all the three loads that we need to run the second order analysis. 
Okay, so we have one, two, three here. But still, we need uh, to define the correct section property here and to get the same result. So L 8.5 is okay, but now we need C and E. In the first order analysis, the result will not depend on E and E. It depends only on the load and load and the length. But in the second order analysis, it depends on the stiffness of the member. So, so we, have, we have to define correctly the material property and uh, stiffness. So for this section, I just use uh, you see the section that is by default. I know what is in C of this section. And then I will define a new one. Okay, that have uh, the same property we need here. So I don't remember what is the uh, maybe uh, I just put whatever the result are here. Because in the uh, buckling analysis it will not depend on the section. Okay? It depends only on inertia E. So what is important here, we should put correctly uh, the value of E right or EZ. But here, as we study only in the plan, in the what 2D plan in H and Z only, in buckling only in H and Z, so the buckling is around the axis. See the axis here? E right. Mean, uh, bending around at uh, right. bending around at uh, that we don't have because we study only in the plan of z eight. Okay. So if bending, if you have some. So here, that we have to pay attention here is E by, because direction local direction is by. Then, okay, two or one or two. So here I don't know. I just put whatever the the, the, the value. Maybe this one will be more. This one will be less. Uh, material property is still still around uh, two hundred gigapascal normally. So here section one. Next slide, you please. Okay. So here is section one plus the load here. And then uh, so So if you want to run the p-data for this three load combination, one, two, three, here you go to uh, analysis, analysis tab. And then, for example, here, combo number one, here, is linear combination. In, uh, so we will normally run linear analysis, in first order analysis only. So you can change uh, parameter to include, for example, as software to consider the Non-linearity of a geometry means so cannot affect. Here, p delta is it delta? It means p big delta. You want small delta, large displacement here. From what I understand from the software. But we will see if we, we first. I will see, we will see if we check only one here. How? What is the result? Okay. And then if you don't check, what is the result? But but first, uh, we will run uh, first order analysis to see the result. Is it the same as this one, first order, 27 or not? Okay. This one, first order result. We will compare first uh, the first order result. 
close and then uh, we close the load result and then bending moment ambiguity okay so bending moment diagram and then uh, so we have 27 through, through 9 okay so here same is here okay and then if you compare this one one two three uh, okay so from combo number three combo number one combo number two combo number three we, we have the same result because it is the first order analysis mean the the result bending moment here do not depend on this compression force okay so we will see how is the result when we turn on the uh, second order equation for example combo number one here I check p data combo number two also p data combo number three p data and I want to see if uh, the software can capture the p small data effect or not okay so you see that for combo number one 27 row nine Combo number two, 27 or so. So you see that it, it gives the same result as per order, uh, first order analysis. So what it means? It means that if we, we check only this one, so we cannot calculate P small eta. Because P small eta would increase, for, for example, in this case, from 27 to 29. But here, so we cannot calculate that 29. It gives always the first order result that is 27. So we will, so we, we, we check or uh, if we check also this slide displacement option, can robot can calculate that P small data or not? Okay, so right now I will check these two. So we have for combo this one. Okay, so we check all the three, all the two, and then for the three load combination, and then calculation. Always the same result. See, so what it mean? It mean that uh, in robo, the, the software cannot calculate p small data. First of all, cannot calculate p small. Data. So why it is like this? For the software normally, the information that they store for the calculation, if you define a column. But if, for example, I divide this column into two parts, two segments, we will see how much the result will improve from there. So from here, we will go to divide this column into two. Divide division into one part unequal to two. So here, 
So I add another node here. So now we have node number one, number two, and number three is in the middle. So we perform new analysis. Okay, so now you see for combo number three, the bending moment increased to 41. Okay, so from here, combo number one, 29.8. So from here, 29.8. So then combo number two, 33. So we will see here how much it will increase to, to 33. And then combo number number three, 43, this one, 41. So maybe uh, by divide by two, maybe it's not yet enough. It may be, uh, be increased to, to three or to four. So we will see, we, we increase this one to four. This one. Uh, but first I will delete the previous node first. Okay, and then uh, we divide to four segment. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four segment. We perform another analysis. Okay. So still 42, but here 43. Okay. So the result it, it approach each other. Now, if you continue to increase, maybe at one moment you get uh, maybe the same result. Or maybe not, just very close result, but not the same. Okay. So, from here, we see that uh, we can find a way to, so that uh, our software can calculate this T small data. But then, for P big data, We have this case. I think the same same section, but the length of the column the same. And then we have lateral force. F half like this, and then different compression force. So from here, I will use the same result here. Now the same model. Delete support from the top and then put a quick support at the bottom. And then uh, for load number two here, I will delete this load. Okay, so load, you see you load here, here, here. So we delete that one. And then uh, so instead of this distributed load, I will put point load at point number two, at node number two. That is 4.5 kilonewton. Okay, so 4.5 kilonewton in each direction. At here. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Simply load number two. Here and here. So for dead load number two, 4.5, and then we have another 3K for 150, 650, and 890. Okay, so I will change the existing load. Load number three, that is 500 to 450. So from load table here, change load number three. Uh, one, two, five hundred here, two, one hundred fifty, and then six hundred fifty. And then eight hundred ninety. So here, so we have load number three. Four, five, and then load combination here, here four point five, and then four hundred fifty, 
you can get the result or not. Okay, so, so here from uh, for number six, number seven, I put the same. So yes, I can see and then uh, from that. But if you put there like this, the calculation will be long, bigger than before. So for number eight, before that in number eight, that we had a problem. Okay. So increment number, see here, here. See now, the, the calculation, it means it, it convert, converge. So the result is acceptable within a tolerance. Okay, so for example, combo number three. So here, uh, 94, so here 95. You see the result is close, bigger than before. So analytical result. Then for combo number one, 53. So here you have 53 also. And then here 66, 66. By experiment, I observed that the uh, effect here, if I uncheck that one, like this last one here, and then I put it back to 5, and then here 20. So I turn that one off, I put here 5, and here 20 only. We'll see if uh, we turn off this slide displacement option, uh, the result will differ a lot or not. Okay, so here 5, here 20. Okay, okay, and then I don't know. Okay, very fast. Uh, 95, 95 also. Well, it is better than the first one. Faster and, and better result in this case. Okay. Uh, so in, in practice, uh, so we have now, we know that we have two approach to calculate the uh, low balls, kernel effect, or we use uh, the magnifier or the load from your code, or we can use the uh, method directly. You run p data analyzing, so no need to calculate uh, to check if global scan order effect can be ignored or not. You have to check uh, magnify or digital load or not. It is just you do a model, define imperfection load, spin load, and then run p data analyzing. You get already the global scan order effects that is included in the result. So from here, you select one column, design this column individually using a nominal sweep length method or nominal curvature method. And then you get it done. Okay. This one for the column.